Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at the LapDoc 100. This is Motorola's LapDoc. We took a look at it some time ago, and there's quite a few LapDocs around now, and uh, Motorola and Verizon have been pushing them quite a bit. This one in particular is $250 on a two-year contract, and will work with the Photon 4G, the Atrix 2G, I'm sorry, 4G, the Bionic, and the Droid Razor, Razor Max. And it works quite well, uh, but it has kind of an old school form factor to it. You can see right here, if I turn it this way, you've got this kind of bent look to it. You've got a Kensington lock here. This opens up right here, and then you've got your screen. In the back, you have a connector that goes to all the phones. You have, and it kind of pulls out here and allows you to move it around a little better. We'll put that in back for now. This is a charge port for the lap dock. It does have a pretty be decent and big battery in it. Then we have two USB ports for external uh, accessories and a couple speakers on the bottom with some rubber feet. Now, if I set this down and open it up, it actually isn't too bad. Uh, inside, we have a screen, a display uh, that's about 10 inches, a little bit bigger than that. Uh, it, it's really quite nice. And then we have kind of what a it looks like a copied MacBook uh, trackpad that has one big pad, but two buttons left and right, but integrated into the trackpad. Works pretty good, pretty nice overall, uh, but really isn't that great in, in application or when you're actually using it. The keyboard is actually pretty decent as opposed to the other lap dock for the Bi Bionic that has a larger screen, but has chiclet style keys. Let me show you that quickly. It has a much nicer form factor. This is the Bionic lap dock, and it has a little spot here. We fold this out. The Bionic sits in it. In fact, I have the Bionic right here. The Bionic will sit in it just like this. Kind of clicks down in, but it's only made for the Bionic, and so because of that, it doesn't work that well. It has chiclet style keys like a MacBook, a nice large track pack, but none of it works that well. The LapDoc 100, on the other hand, seems to work better, but has a smaller display. So let's go ahead and close that. The LapDoc 100 here will open up. Now let me plug in the Razer Max to show you. We'll turn it on, dual core. Uh, pretty nice though overall, but it's $250. But if you're looking for something like a Chromebook, it actually might not be a bad deal. So let's wait for this to boot up. We'll go ahead and plug it in. Now in my tests, it has actually kind of flaked out a little bit here and there. What happens is, is you'll be using it. It'll reboot the phone sometimes. Other times it works great. But in this case, uh, it seems to work pretty well most of the time. Not always though. So we're waiting for the razor to boot up. Now, while we're doing that, they've integrated this little spot here to set the razor. But you really end up setting it more like this when you have it plugged in. And it's just awkward. It's better to just kind of set it to the side. It seems to work a little better that way. So we'll wait for it to boot up here. We pull this part out. Let's see, we'll, we can unlock it. And then this plugs in the top. Now, the good thing is it actually charges the phone. Not that the Razer Max, in this case, really needs it. But it does charge the phone. See, if we spin this out, we can kind of put it in like that. And it works just fine, but it's a little awkward. So if I open this up here, it should turn on. Should we have battery? Yeah, we have battery. So there we go. It turns on. Now, it is much better to use with a mouse. And we'll wait for it to boot up. Screen has a lot of glare. You can see uh, there's not a whole lot to it, really. What we have here is this is our phone here on the left. Trackpad is pretty responsive. And then we go down here and we have our phone contacts, messaging, music, gallery, file manager, apps for WebTop, and Firefox. Now, the nice thing is this is a full Firefox browser. This browser is the full version, meaning it has Flash. If you go to Hulu, you can play Hulu. It works really well. See, there we did. There we go. It opened up, opened up two windows. Uh, we'll go here and we do have 4G connectivity on the, on the razor. So that's nice. Bring this window forward, I guess, make it full screen. And you can see it's a little sluggish. It's not great, but it would be decent for doing any web surfing, full web surfing. Let me go to Zolotech. Seems to work. Okay. Oh, I misspelled it there. It seems to be okay. It's not my favorite thing by any means. Uh, it seems to do all right. Like I said, I go to Zolotech and 
there it is. So now if we go down here, we can kind of two finger scroll, but it's a little choppy. You can see a little bit choppy, but it does work. Uh, it is a decent idea. Unfortunately, it's just not that well executed. You're, you're almost better off buying a cheap laptop uh, than having a laptop. I love the idea of actually having everything on my phone, bringing it home, plugging it in. I've got a full computer. I can do everything on my phone. I don't lose my files, anything like that. But unfortunately, the whole concept is a little bit flawed due to the speed of everything. Now, the processor is a dual core in this Razer Max, but for whatever reason, it's just not crazy fast. Overall, though, it, it just doesn't have the speed you'd really want. It's it's a neat idea. It works great. Uh, it, but if you're not really that concerned with super fast performance, you're not doing a ton of multitasking, it actually isn't a bad idea at all. You can kind of go to, you can see Motorola's homepage here. And uh, Verizon sent this to me for to review, so we can check this out a little bit. And uh, overall, really nice. The other laptop I showed you looks nicer, but does not work anywhere near as good as this one, at least in my experience. Maybe the Bionic, uh, for whatever reason, was a little slow with it and makes the experience not that good. But overall, I like the idea, like I said. Now, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, do you like the idea of a lap dock? Uh, I know I asked that before. A lot of you said you didn't. Uh, you thought it was kind of dumb. I wondered if maybe this would be the future where we have an iPhone with a MacBook and they kind of integrate. But I, I don't think we're at that point yet. I just wonder what your guys' take is on it and what you think uh, maybe where we could go with all this idea. Overall, though, I think it's neat, a little bit pricey, but overall a neat idea that's just not well executed due to uh, speed and things. Maybe in the future it'll be a great idea, but I'd love to hear what you have to say. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.